Brakata Yahawa, Brakata Yahawa Shai, Brakata Yahawa, Brakata Yahawa Shai, Brakata Yahawa, Brakata Yahawa Shai, Call Halala Yahawa Bashem Yahawa Shai. That's Hebrew. Interpret, bless Yahawa, bless Yahawa Shai. All praises to the Father Yahawa in the name of the Son, Yahawa Shai. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's hopeful elect scattered abroad, teaching his word in sincerity and truth. Shalom. All right, you see it. The New York Times, it says Jersey City shooting suspect linked to black Hebrew Israelite group. All right. Now, meanwhile, as all this was going on yesterday, they never made any mentions of anything to do with the with what they call the black Hebrew Israelite groups. All right. And this is Esau and his attack, you know, and him trying to write the narrative as if, um, you know, the Israelites had something to do with this. All right. You know, here in Newark, New Jersey, <clears throat> you know, folks have been talking about this and nobody came up and said anything about the Hebrew Israelites had something to do with it. But here it is. Now you see that. Esau is saying that they do. Let me read the scripture <clears throat> real quick. This is Psalms chapter 50 and verse 14. It says, Offer unto the Most High thanksgiving, and pay thou vows unto the Most High, and call upon me in the day of trouble. I will deliver thee, and thou shalt glorify me. All right, because we understand that Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly called Jesus Christ, you know, he told his men, his prophets, that we were going to be persecuted for his namesake. And this is, you know, exactly um, the start of of uh, the Lord's uh, uh, hopeful elect to be persecuted. You know, they're writing a narrative and lying, you know, just so they can attack the Israelites. And notice they say black Hebrew Israelites as if they haven't done their research. You know, they know that we're not, this is not a, a, you know, this is not a black thing, you know. And they labeled you, you so-called blacks, black, man. <laughs> because in all reality, you're not black. Okay, black means void. Black means death. All right. And this is nothing but a cold word as uh, the brother, uh, Elder Yashawamba. He said in his video that I watched, all right, the accuser is building his case, all right? He's building his case against the Israelites so that he can have his way because what's happening is that we are, we are at the end of Esau's kingdom and the Most High prophesies that his kingdom will fall, okay? Um, I could go to Wisdom of Solomon, but... You know, basically, this is all. Let me let me make mention too. This is an article to brother brother Shar, in the camp. He uh, called me and then sent this article to me, and I saw it through the feed. He posted the video up too, so I'm gonna try to link his video to the page, or post it on the page. You know, and um, it's going down, man. And this is why we've been telling you, all right, you Israelites, that know that you're Israelites, that go out there teaching and got subscriptions channels and to stop you know promoting guns because esau is going to demonize you and guess what the most high told us to be harmless as doves and wise as serpents man he told us to be blameless all right he said the scriptures say our warfare is not carnal there's no need for us to shoot an edomite a so-called white man or a Amalekite, a fake Jew. For what? When it's going to do nothing. When the Lord told us to wait ye upon him till he rise up to the prey. So that's how we know that this is some bullshit. And, you know, just as the brother said, uh, Elder Yashawamba, all right, he even said, he made mention of the, um, because when he was doing this video, I was thinking the same thing. Uh, you know, they got that uh, movie coming out which was, I think it was titled Asher, and now it's called St. Paul or something like that, where they're trying to make a movie uh, and paint this narrative of the Israelites. You know, they're trying to demonize us Israelites, man. And the Lord told us these things were going to happen, so they're going to happen, all right? 
So let me get back to that scripture. This is uh, Psalms chapter 50 and 15. And call upon me in the day of trouble. And I will deliver thee and thou shalt glorify me. And guess what? We're approaching that day of trouble, which is prophesied is called Jacob's trouble. Because not only, all right, the men of the Lord is going to be persecuted, you know, and, and um, you know, being cast up for the name of the Lord. But guess what? You other Israelites, you know, that don't really consider, or let's say you don't consider this truth. Guess what? It's going to be your trouble as well. Esau is, is trying to push a race war. And the scriptures prophesy a race war. Okay, the, the scriptures prophesize a great calamity, a great woe, a great destruction and judgment coming upon you Israelites. And that is you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native and Seminole Indians, man. You West Indians and you, you Haitians. You are all Israelites, not black Israelites, but Hebrew Israelites. All right. When Trump take away or whatever president it may be, which is. We believe Trump because this place ain't got too much long. You know, they ready to start forcing that chip. They need to remove the profits because they can't force the chip with when we up here speaking against the chip, which is the mark of the beast. <laughs> you know, so anyway, it says, but unto the wicked, the most high say, which is Esau, because Esau is the wicked. That's why he came up with this article and used that Jersey City shooting, you know, to tie it to the Israelites. You know, the black Hebrew Israelites have been labeled a hate group and suspected and suspect wrote anti-Semitic and anti-police posts and officials said, right, this is bullshit. This is auto app KO. All right. Problem, reaction, solution. It says, but unto the wicked, the most high say, what has thou to do to declare my statutes? Or that thou shouldest take my covenant in thy mouth. And this is a directly uh, toward um, these so-called Jews, man. You know, in which the Lord told us that we will wait upon him till he rise up to you devils. <clears throat> Our warfare is not carnal. You know, and none of the true men of the Lord would do such a thing as what they're trying to label in this article. You know. But you got dumbass Israelites out here as well and paid Israelites, paid agents amongst the Israelites, you know, that will promote guns and show themselves with born arrows and do all this shit because they're dumbasses, man. You're incriminating yourself with this devil. This devil is slick and crafty, man. All right. This is his show. All right. This is well, this is his show that the most high is uh, playing out. So he's going to have leadway. But guess what? Our Heavenly Father is the master, okay, of this show. He's the one that put it together. And he's the one that says when the end comes, man. <laughs> he say what is what. All right? You can do nothing against the truth before the truth because this is all prophecy. It says, but unto the wicked, the Most High say, what has thou to do to, do to declare my statutes? Or that thou shouldest take my covenant in thy mouth. Seest thou hatest instruction and casteth my words behind thee, when thou sawest a thief, then thou considerest with him and has been partaker with adulterers. Thou gavest thou mouth to evil, thou tongue frameth deceit. And that's what all Esau does is lies, man. Lies after lies after lies, man. You know? Lies after lies after lies. Thou gavest thou mouth to evil, thou tongue frameth deceit. Thou sittest and speakest against thy brother, thou slanderest thy own mother's son. And who is that? What's this going back to? To Jacob and Esau. All right. When Jacob supplanted Esau for the birthright, Esau, you know, he supplanted him twice. He supplanted him of the blessings as well. Okay. And now when Jacob did that, what did Esau say? When my father passed, you know, he was going to overtake Jacob. And still to this day, he been seeking vengeance on Jacob because he want that birthright back. 
that birthright being that the kingdom, the kingdom of heaven being here on earth. Well, guess what? Okay, guess what, Esau? You wasn't chosen by the Lord. All right, and the most I gonna show your ass, man. It says, Thou gavest thou mouth to evil, and thou tongue frameth deceit. Thou hatest and speakest against thy brother, and slanderest thy own mother's son. Is this not slander? Is this not slander? You know? And look at these two Edomites that wrote this shit up, man. You know? They have no problem. That's why we tell you, man. Esau have no problem hating you Israelites. They don't want to see you be happy. They don't want you to have uh, salvation. They don't want you to, you know, be anything above them. But guess what? They have no choice. Because the Lord said that he was going to reprove them to their face right before their eyes, man. And that's what's happening. The Lord is, is killing these devils with the spirit of his mouth. You know, they can't take it anymore because the scriptures being put out there, the narration, you know, the, the rebuttal, you know, the, the prophecies, the breakdown, the true breakdown of the scriptures. They're getting into the history. You know, even Edomites don't woken up to the fact that this place is really Babylon the Great. America is Babylon the Great. If an Edomite would tell you that his own kingdom is in this place, America is Babylon the Great, you know this is the end. Okay? Because they've been woken. They've been awoke to see that they've been lied to. You know, you got a lot of Edomites that, that hate the elites, man. You know, because of what they've done. Ripped them out of their blessings, man. You know, taking certain rights and laws away from them for their privilege. You know, Esau is a devil, man. All right. It says, um, verse 21, these things that these things has thou done. And I kept silent. So all of these things that you done, Esau, you know, to the Israelites, the most high have kept silence. You know, you took up his covenant. You called yourself his people, his chosen people like he was dealing with you. The Lord kept silence. It says, these things has thou done. And I kept silence. Thou thoughtest that I was altogether such as one as thyself, but I will reprove thee. And I will set them in order before thy eyes. So the most high, <laughs> you thought he was with you. You know, that's when you accuse of your brother, of, of, of thy brethren, man. You know, you thought the Lord was with you. You thought by the fact that you put out drugs, you know, he put out gangs, you know, he made it cool to, uh, to be wicked and Jake soak it up every day. You think you can tell the Lord that, you know, look at us, we're going off. But here it is. You forward our affliction, man. Like you don't have a hand in that. All right. It says, these things has thou done. And I kept silence. Thou thoughtest that I was altogether such as one as thyself, but I will reprove thee. Meaning the Lord going to correct you. He said, and set them in order before thou eyes. Now consider this, ye that forget the most high, because what Esau have done is he forgotten the Lord. You've been living in this luxurious, God forsaken, evil, witchcraft mindset that you forgot about the heavenly father and his righteousness. You forgot about the power he possessed, which is the power of the universe. OK, that thought you into existence, man. The Lord said, now consider this, ye that forget the most high. Least I tear you in pieces and there be none to deliver because where you going to run? You ain't going to be able to take a flight and run and catch a flight and, and go out of the country. And even if you do, you're going to be dug up, man, as the scriptures prophesize. All right. It says, whoso offer praises glorify me. And we offer praises to Yahweh Bashim Shai. We don't offer praises to the to Esau Edom. Okay. And the elect would never offer praises to Esau, Edom, just like it was back in the Maccabees when the Greeks took over. Just the same as well as now, 2019, while you Edomites are still ruling or you back into rule at the end of your rule. The elect of the Lord will never serve and never praise. Let's say, well, never praise you Edomites, man, because we offer praises to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. It says, whosoever, whoso offer praises glorify me. And to him that order of his conversation aright, will I show the salvation of the Most High. And that conversation represents man, the way you man in yourself. All right. So we're not caught up in that ways of the world, being a homo, you know, um, 
uh, practicing witchcraft, you know, um, doing the things of the world, man, partying, giving into marriage, eating and drinking all day long, you know, uh, uh, folly of second great dignity. Everything is so funny, you know, well, that word conversation goes into what way, road, distance, journey, manner. All right. Manner. How you manner yourself. Uh, roadway path, the path of the Lord, the road, the way, the path of the Lord, the journey, the journey, uh, walking the straight gate in his truth and striving for righteousness in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. The direction, okay? He that ordered his conversation upright, meaning his direction, the way that he go is, a, is the way of the Lord. Manner, habit, way of course of life, see? Course of life, of moral character. Because the Lord's elect men have moral character, man. They have character, man. Okay? They have integrity. They have faith. Their direction, their journey, their way, their path is ordered in the steps and preparation of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right? Custom. Their customs. All right? That's, that's it. It says, Whoso offer of praises glorify me, and to him that order of his conversation aright, will I show the salvation of Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shad, man. You know? So um, once again, the demonization has started. You know? Let's see how fiery the flames will, will torch. You know, let's see how fiery the flames will go. Because they do this from time to time to keep the to keep the kettle warm. All right. They put these articles, they do these incidents, and they keep the kettle warm. But let's just see, you know. You know, because this is Lord's prophecy that these devils are going to persecute the men of the Lord. And they're going to demonize. You know, you're going to falsely accuse. Falsely accuse men that is serving Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Um, before I leave out, I had another scripture here. Which was in Matthews chapter 10. And um let's see here. Matthews 10. And uh and when ye come into an house, salute it, and if the house be worthy, verse 13, 10 and 13. And if the house be worthy, let your peace come upon it. But if it but if it be not worthy, let your peace return to you. And whosoever shall not receive you, nor hear your words, when ye depart out of that house or city, shake off the dust of your feet. Verily I say unto you, it shall be more tolerable for the land of Sodom and Gomorrah in the day of judgment than for that city. So the Lord ain't just coming for individuals. He's coming for the land. He's coming for the state, the city. <laughs> okay. It will be more tolerable. For the land of Sodom and Gomorrah in the day of judgment. And we all know what happened to Sodom and Gomorrah. The Lord took it off the face of the earth, man. Okay? Fire and brimstone. It says, verse 16, Behold, I send forth as I send you forth as sheep in the midst of wolves. You know that ultimate wolf is Esau, but also these wolves, these little baby wolves, is, is the Israelites, man. All right. Behold, I send you forth as sheep in the midst of wolves. So you can look at Esau as a wolf, man. He's a big, bad wolf. Ready to blow your house down, man. You know, because he don't like the fact that you, you know, coming back into your existence, man. And which things you once knew. You know, his job is to be the wicked because that's what the Lord created him to be. He's the one that's fitted to destruction. It says, be ye therefore wise as serpent and harmless as dove. So why are we supposed to be wise? As serpent. Why are we supposed to be harmless as doves? Because this is not the warfare being carnal. All right. So you guys that in these different camps, you know, when these devils start kicking in your door because you did a video with guns and all that and they demonize your ass. Don't think that you, you know, you in good case, man. Hey, this is this is a scary thing, man. And I don't mean scary of Esau. I mean, scary of. And the Lord, scary uh, in doing, uh, following the Lord's ways, man. Because if you don't, you could suffer for being wicked, man, and not know it. 
You be thinking you suffering for righteousness, but really you suffering for being fucking wicked, man. Being stupid. All right. The Lord told us to be blameless. He said to be harmless as doves, wise as serpents, man, because serpents are wise. Serpents are slick and crafty. You can be a serpent in righteousness, too. A snake is not a wicked animal. Matter of fact, it's not wicked at all. It's just a creature. All right. It's a creature that, you know, it kind of has a bad trait. It has a negative trait to it because it does things sneaky. You know, anything that's done sneaky and dark, you consider it wicked. But snakes are animals, man, are part of the Lord's creatures. You can be also a righteous snake, which is a dragon, man. You can be a dragon. All right. So anyway, it says harmless as doves because the Lord ain't trained us up to be super duper warriors. He's going to give us that power once we get our spirits together. Once we complete the job in the spirit first, then we'll become warriors when he tweak our bodies, man. All right. When Paul said we'd be chains in the twinkle of an eye, man. When, when uh, what's that? Ezekiel 16, 16. We shall be uh, fishers and then turned into hunters. But that's when the Lord rise up to the prey. It says verse 17. But beware of men, for they will deliver you up to the councils and they shall and they will scourge you in their synagogue. So you got to beware of men. And this is also a time to be more vigilant, you know. Which you can't, you know, I'm going to take heed to the words that I speak, Lord willing, that he, you know, continue to uh, watch over me. But being vigilant in the camp, you know, because you got those that want to spy at your liberty. You got agents. All right. And you never know. You know, spying out your liberty to do something, to do some fucked up shit, you know, to get you hemmed up, man. All right. Now, we can't prevent anything if the Lord allow. But guess what? The Lord did give us wisdom to adjust. Okay? He gave us wisdom to see. So if you can stop it, stop the shit. You know? You don't just let shit be unless the Lord allow it to be. You know, you can be a watchman. That's what watchmen do. They watch. Anyway, but beware of men, for they will deliver you up to the councils, and they will scourge you in their synagogues. And let and ye shall be brought before governors and kings. For my sake, you see, they demonizing us and calling us the black Hebrew Israelite group, which they consider the hate group. And they're saying, you know, we are promoting violence and killing people. And look here in Jersey City shooting a guy, a guy and his woman, I believe, you know, shot up a store and killed a, a, a Jewish man. Oh, how bad, you know, <laughs> And that's not even the case when they're lying, man. This is auto ab KO, man. Problem, reaction, solution, man. It says, behold, I was sent, excuse me, verse 18. And ye shall be brought before governors and kings for my sake, for a testimony against them and the Gentiles. So notice it said governors and kings, man. <laughs> hey, Lord. Uh, says some of us shall be cast into prison and he says be faithful unto death you got to know you somebody man that's when the lord said when they come in like a flood then you're gonna know who my chosen because if you being brought up to a governor and to a president <laughs> bro and you old little you ain't did nothing but read the scriptures and prophesize then guess what that's because they because they don't understand the lord man you know, you basically made famous, man. That mean these 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 guys, these presidents in different countries and, you know, the governors, they all watching the Israelites, man. They all seeing who's who. They even probably learned some scriptures and got cut. You know, but think about that magnitude, man. You being brought up to a president. Old little you. Just prophesizing on the street. <laughs> all praises to y'all. Bashim was shot, man. You know. It says, and ye shall be brought before governors and kings for my sake, for a testimony. All right. Meaning, a, meaning you a witness, man. You're a witness of Yahweh Shai against them and the Gentiles, man. But when they deliver you up, take no thought how or what ye shall speak. For it shall be given you in that same hour what ye shall speak. So we don't got to worry. 
Because Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai is going to be with us, man. He's going to be with those brothers. Okay? You don't have to worry about what you should say. You know, trying to make a speech. Trying to get your thoughts together. Guess what? Within that same hour and that minute, second, the, the Holy Spirit, the angels, man, of the Lord, Yahweh Shai, Yahweh is going to be with you, man. You know? Hey, it just my I I think it is, you know, the scripture in a time like that. And I imagine, you know, you just the most high using your mouth, like he used Moses' mouth to speak and just cut them a new, a new asshole, man. So shake that ass up, man. Even while you at the um you are you are against all odds. All right. And they got you at the balls. You know, and the word of the Lord, because the scriptures say the word of the Lord is quick and powerful. Sharpening any two-edged sword, a discerner of the heart, and the intents of the heart, you know, it gets into your bone and marrow, meaning make you move, man. The word of the Lord is powerful, man. Whew, man. But when they deliver you up, take no thought how or what ye shall speak, for it shall be given you in the same hour what ye shall speak. For it is not ye that speak, but, sp but the spirit of your father which speaketh in you, man. That mean Yahweh going to say something to these niggas, man. Through you. Yahweh is going to say something directly to you Edomites, man. Directly to you Edomites. To the kings and governors. And that's just going to be most powerful, man. Unforgetting, man. You just know that if you have to get put to death, you'll be brought before these kings and rulers. And the most high spirit come through you to speak to them. They not going to rest, man. They better off just going. I, I, I can see it. Some of our officials going to just kill themselves after hearing what the Lord said through you, man. That's how powerful the Lord word is, man. <sighs> Verse 21. And the brother shall deliver up the brother to death. And the father, the child, and the children shall rise up against their parents and cause them to be put to death. And ye shall be hated for uh, of all men for my name's sake. But he that endureth unto the end shall be saved. I'm going to end it with that, man. So, you know, it doesn't matter what these Edomites do, how they do it, when they do it. The Lord's spirit is with the elect. All right. Call halal la, yahawah ba shim, yahawah shai, man. All right, so with that, want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Uh, double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's hopeful elect. Shalom.